everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. Thanks for joining me for this quick update. So I got a few emails from some of my subscribers wanting to get an update on the apple tree that I bought several years ago here in Houston Garden. The first question I'm gonna get is where did you buy the apple tree? I bought it from Enchanted Gardens in Richmond, Texas, which is just south of Houston. It's the only place that I've uh, seen that sells these things. And, and I apologize for some of the wind. It's a little bit windy out here today in Houston. So to start off with, this tree was purchased at four feet tall. It's grafted between two apple trees, Anna apple and golden dorset apple. And the reason why it's grafted is because those are probably the only two apples that can grow here in Houston, Texas. You see, apple trees require frost hours in the off season or the winter. And Houston gets between 100 and 300 frost hours a year which is exactly what the Anna Apple and Golden Dorset require. So it's a perfect tree for Houston, Texas. Now when I bought this tree, as you'll see here, it was four feet tall. Uh, four or five years later, it's 15 to 17 feet tall. Now I've trimmed it some, but you'll see it goes way up there, okay? So I have to continue to prove it, prune it. Part of the tree, for whatever reason, grows before the other, but the reason why it's an Anna Apple and a Golden Dorset uh, together is that you acquire two different type of tree trees to pollinate each other to grow apples now i'll show you the apple in a little bit but the problem that we have is that and don't be fooled if you're in houston or orlando or mississippi or new orleans any place that gets more than 50 to 60 inches of rain a year nothing is ever dwarf in Houston, Texas. So a dwarf tree which you that's supposed to be five to six feet will get to 15, 16 feet. And the reason, we just get so much rain. So the problem that I have is I planted this beautiful uh, dual high, uh, 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 apple tree uh, next to my nectarine tree, which is supposed to be a dwarf. The nectarine tree is supposed to get to six, seven feet. This thing has gotten to 20 feet. Okay, has not produced any nectarines. I have another nectarine tree over there. Anyway, they're supposed to cross pollinate each other. They haven't done so. So I'm gonna be taking out this nectarine tree to make room for the producing apple tree. So the Anna apple and the Golden Dorset um, tree, uh, the apples do not taste like Macintosh or Gala or Fuji. They're more of a smaller tart apple, so they can probably be used for cooking. So let me give you a close-up of what this apple tree looks like. It just started bearing fruit a few weeks ago. They come out little clusters that look like this, okay? There's another one down there. And these clusters go all the way up the branches of the tree, okay? And I think there's some more over here we'll take a look at. You'll see that some additional uh they get to be uh like the small of a uh, the size of a small kind of small fuji apple that you or gala apple that you buy in bags at the grocery store but again they are relatively tart now the golden dorset is a yellow apple uh and the uh, anna apple is a reddish apple so it's kind of cool when they both uh come out and uh they develop together the only problem that you're going to have and the mistake that i made is you see this fence all along the fence on the back there's a board and squirrels run up and down that uh, it really is a battle between me and the squirrels so if you plant this i would encourage you to plant it in a part in your yard that does not have a lot of squirrels that can get easy access to it like this fence that's my mistake. In addition, these things do need full sun and these apple trees do need to be put in a well-drained area. In the off season, a basic 555 neutral, uh, excuse me, uh, fertilizer is fine to put around the base of the tree. Um, and uh, that kind of takes care of it, cover it with mulch. As you'll see my friend here, the owl, I usually put the owl here. The head spins every minute and I try to use it to scare away some uh, squirrels or rats that may be interested in getting uh, to the tree. I'm not sure if he or she will do a good job, but we will see. So far, so, so far, excuse me, no apples have been taken. So anyway, this is an update on the apple tree. They can be grown here in Houston, Texas. Enchanted Gardens is the place that I got it. So that's the update on the apple tree. If you want to give a shot uh, growing an apple tree, again, if you go to grow a dwarf apple, it's going to get in Houston 10 to 15 feet tall. Regular apple trees, of course, get 30 to 35 feet. Don't plant anything 
especially a dwarf tree within 10 to 15 feet from it because it will spread out and get bigger. Of course, a regular size apple tree, you'll need a lot more, 30 to 50 feet for that. Anyway, hope everybody's staying safe during this uh, uh, time of the coronavirus. Until next time, Jeff, your executive gardener. Bye for now.